Hello, right, this is the first video of Maker Advent. So about six weeks ago, I went to AliExpress and I got about 60 UK pounds worth of stuff. Just went random. First one in set, something that caught my eye quite early on. A pocket multimeter from Aneng, the Aneng AN301. If he's reading off the screen to his left. I picked this up because one, it was cheap, it was less than four pounds. And two, I've got an Aneng AN8008, which I've been using for about three years now. Great multimeter. It's small, it's cheap, it's from a decent brand. So I bought four pound, got to have a go. So I'll show you how small it is. Each one of these squares is a centimetre. So one, two, three, four, five. Just over five centimetres wide. Eleven tall. Five by eleven centimetres. Tiny. And thin. About a centimetre in thickness. Brilliant. Compare that to Aneng 8008. And it's a lot slimmer, a lot more portable. This is my usual portable meter. And then on the end we have the Unity UT58C from Maplin, RIP. Look at the size difference there. Admittedly, this stays at home. This is too heavy to carry. So, four quid, what do I get? Right. It's powered by a CR2032 battery, a watch battery, coin cell. So something like this here. So cheap, easy to get a hold of. You can get them in Poundland for, I think, 10 for about a quid. Really handy. The probes are already connected to it. There's no way of taking the probes off. They are fused into the case. Not a big issue. It would be nice to have probes that have come out, but I'm paying £4. Ah, I'm all right with that. So what can I do with it? Right, turn it on. This is where the interface gets a little bit weird. I'm used to a dial, so turning that sort of thing on, doing stuff, pressing buttons. Whereas this, I have to turn it on and it'll set to millivolts or volts. In a minute, it's millivolts. So that's function two here. If I press select, it will go to AC readings in millivolts. Press it again, I can read the resistance of a resistor. So here's a 330 ohm resistor. 0.327 kilo ohms, yes, yeah, so 327 ohms. That's about right. Press it again, diode test. And press it again. Continuity test. Continuity test is decent. This is a Dave Jones test. How quick can it latch? EV blog test. Quick enough for general purpose. If I was an electrician working something, obviously I won't be using this. It is rated to 600 volts. I wouldn't be using this. If you're going to be working at high voltages, use proper gear. So that's function two tested. Function one, so if I click on that now, I'm in function one mode and I can read DC volts. So let's get this here, so that's ground. There we go. Reads 9.41 volts. Nice and easy from my Poundland battery. I can read AC voltage as well. I haven't got an AC voltage source to test. I wouldn't put it in one. And electrical field test. As you can hear, it's beeping away. I'm gonna move it over to the plug socket. Put it back into DC measuring. And yeah, that's the basic function. When I first got it, I was a little bit weird about how to use it. I really didn't read the manual. Then I did read the manual, so I was confused. But here it just explains it quite well. So yeah, four quid, good little meter. I think all in all with shipping, it came to seven pounds delivered. And it took 10 days. So good little stocking filler for kids who are just getting into electronics, or for people like myself or anyone else who's a maker, 
who want just a cheap multimeter they can put in the bag and use wherever they go. Anyway, that's the first one done. I'll see you tomorrow.